Well, joining us now is Father Dan of the Diocese of Richmond. He joins us via Skype to talk about faith, fitness, and prayer. Father, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, thank you very much for having me. I'm doing quite great. Um, I just got off the 24-hour shift on an ambulance, and I almost delivered a baby this morning. Wow. Wait, a 24-hour <laughs> shift on an ambulance? What were you doing on an ambulance? Are you an EMT? or? Yeah, I've been a paramedic since around 2009, and so I'm the chaplain for a local fire department, and I still work on an ambulance every Thursday. <laughs> That's great. You know, you, you're keeping kind of a busy schedule, aren't you, Father? Absolutely. Now, how close were you actually to delivering the baby? Um, the contractions were less than two minutes apart, um, but when we got to the hospital, the nurse told us that she was only three, centers, uh, three centimeters dilated, so not very close, but she was saying that it's coming. It was her fifth pregnancy, so, you know, it tends to happen kind of quick. Were you, were you telling the driver to go a little bit faster? Uh, he was going very fast, yes. <laughs> well, tell us, a bit, fast. tell us a bit about your call to the priesthood, and, uh, you know, Bonnie told me about this birthday pie tradition. <laughs> um, so that's easier to answer. I just ever since I was a little kid, don't know why, I always preferred like a lemon meringue or a key lime pie for my birthday. So my mom would have like the cake for everyone else and then I would just get my own little pie or big pie. Mm -hmm. um, and so I assume when my birthday rolls around again next, she will have a, a pie ready for me when I go home. So, <laughs> um, But my call to the priesthood, I think, uh, started from a, an early age, um, just really with a desire to help people. And then I went to Franciscan University and got my teaching degree. And so I thought I was going to be an educator. Um, while I was in the middle of that course of study, I became an EMT, and I loved that. And so I knew that after graduation, I would want to help people uh, on an ambulance and doing emergency work. And then uh, it was I was out in the desert as a contractor in the Middle East, and uh, the military chaplain there challenged me. He said, well, you like helping people, but all of the stuff you're going to teach them, they're eventually going to forget, and all the stuff you do on an ambulance, they're eventually going to die. So why don't you set them up to uh, prepare for eternal life and help them that way? And through spiritual direction with him and then all of the discernment through seminary, here I am, two years a priest now. Beautiful. And Father Dan, I am a fellow Franciscan alum, so that's absolutely wonderful. Um, and also, I did see you on um, Yes Catholic, so that was super great to see you with David Patterson. And then when I saw that you were coming on today, I was like, this is awesome. I kind of know who this priest is, so we really welcome you on to uh, Catholic TV. This is great. So your family background is both Russian Orthodox and Roman Catholic. How has that influenced your prayer life? Uh, greatly. I mean, I love all the tradition of the Orthodox Church and the smells and bells, as they call it, you know, which I think sometimes can just be a little uh, played down uh, in the church. And so having that as my background and then seeing the beauty of the Mass as it currently is and everything that the church has to offer, um, I think it allowed me to keep more of um, an open mind into like, hey, prayer style is different. What can I pull from the Orthodox tradition that really speaks to me? What can I use from the Catholic tradition that really speaks to me? Um, and the beauty of it is like, I, I don't have to worry about the Orthodox being, you know, a crazy, whatever sect of anything crazy, because, you know, they're so similar. Uh, it's a shame that we're not still unified there. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's allowed me to pray both in uh, the form like the rosary or the the prayer beads that the orthodox church has and um just really love chant and all of its forms and stuff like that so i think it just brought in my foundation um, and my ability to appreciate the beauty in all the forms of the liturgy we learned uh, about you praying the live instagram rosary with the the many hail marys at a time how important is it for communal devotion in the life of a priest well, I think um, on some level that is at the center of his ministry, right? Like if he is the shepherd and the leader, then he should be having a community to shepherd and lead. So if he's not a person who does uh, communal prayer often, or even if he's doing it alone, you know, the liturgy, the hours, the rosary, stuff like that, if he's not um, participating in the community, 
it kind of makes me question like, okay, well, where's your head? Are you truly wanting to be a leader if you're not willing to enter into the church of the prayer? I'm sorry, the, the prayer of the church um, and the um, just the communal nature of prayer and being or exercising that part of the body of Christ. And Father, we have one last question for you. You share important points about the connections between fitness, prayer, and fasting. Can you share a little bit more about that? Yes, absolutely. I think fasting is way under talked about in our church today because the link between fasting and temptation is so one for one. When I'm hungry, it's the same as when I want to commit a sin. That, that's the feelings that I have inside. And so when I learn to control uh, those natural urges through fasting, and self-denial and self-sacrifice then when temptation comes i know that i'm not going to die when i feel this internal tension and turmoil so what we can learn in the gym directly translates into uh what we can see in a good spiritual growth well father it's been a pleasure uh, talking with you today keep up the good work and uh, good luck as an emt and as a priest thank you very much good to ha be with you all have a great day good.